I've also got a chart with the blade sizes on it. So I use the minimum I use is a six zero, and the coarsest I would use is a four. Generally, I would use a four on something like uh, eight gauge plate or something like that, where it's really tough stuff, and you know you're likely to break a lot of blades. But uh, that might be somewhere. And these are the blades in here. If you wanted to have a look, the blades were always put in the frame facing backwards, so the teeth face backwards because you're cutting on the downstroke as against uh, all other saws where you cut on a forward stroke. There's also some photographs of uh, some piercing that I did and showed you, you know, yeah. what you can do with a bit of uh, experience. So any questions? Where do you get the light from? Uh, I get mine from cousins because cousins do a particularly good play. You know when you're using the, the saw, you're moving the blade. Is, is the, the rest the rest is that moving up and down or that's staying still? The frame. The frame. What do you mean? Yeah. The, no, I mean when you're using it. Yeah. Is is that? No, you tend to put it on the outside of your shoulder. Yeah, it, it's not in that part of your shoulder. That's just pressed against your shoulder. Would you ever use a uh, stick to lubricate the blade or anything to lubricate the blade? No. Very, very seldom. Uh, because usually your blade is sticking for a reason. And that reason is often uh, the blade Blood. worn. Yeah. You're not doing the complete width length of the blade, and so you're wearing the middle channel of the blade instead of the whole length. Uh, usually, that's for a reason why it sticks, or you're using the wrong uh, blade because it's too coarse or something like that. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm trying to do it, I'm, the swarf comes over the over the line. It's difficult to see the, the line. Yeah. Um, well, you do blow it all the time. All the time you're doing it, you blow it away from the line. If you're doing uh, extensive work on piercing, then uh, I think James at one point rigged up a blower. <laughs> Uh, with James, yeah, didn't you? You picked up a blower at one point because if you're blowing all day, <laughs> you know, your mouth gets pretty dry and uh, you, know, you keep drinking then it's cups of coffee and you know, in the end it just don't work. So, you know, that was... There's an aquarium. Yeah. 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 Ron, uh, when you're using a paper template glued to the brass, what glue do you prefer? Well, I use... Yoo -hoo. The reason I use Yoo Hoo is because it's good more or less immediately. It's also good two or three days later if you didn't quite finish it. And it's easy to remove. If it's been on there for a long period of time, it just peels off pretty easily. And then the other thing I do, though, is I do roller it. Uh, you put on your template, and quite often there's a lot of glue all in one place and not the any on another, and so it's a bit ripply. So I do roller it. But sometimes the things that you actually do are not quite as you say, because you're thinking of a roller like a wallpaper roller or something like that. No, I don't do that actually. I'll put it on the edge of the bench and get me, get me pin vice and I just roll my pin vice along the edge. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that, that's it for Pierce, you know. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.